Hey guys, this is Chris with PSI Power. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some install challenges on a 15,000, 15,100, and a 30,100 uh, module. So those will fit the 904, 906, 926 Mercedes engines and also the 12 liter unit pump uh, Mac engine. So we're going to talk a little bit how to install these on the actual unit uh, injector coils. So we'll get in a little bit more detail, show you guys how to use the voltmeter on these. All right, guys. So to install these uh, modules on these unit pump injector setups, we have a bunch of spade terminals that hook directly to the unit pump themselves. And you have to determine which side is the positive lead so you know which direction to hook these up on. So for that today, we're gonna be, we've got a couple Harbor Freight voltmeters, something real inexpensive. You don't need a fluke. If you have them, that's great, but these will do the job for you. And so we'll get in here, we'll show you guys how to do this. So to test these coils, what you'll need to do is start the truck and have it idling and have access to the coils. And what you'll do is you'll put the ground uh, lead on your voltmeter on one side of the terminal and the red lead on the other side of the terminal and have your setting on DC voltage. Once you put it on DC voltage, you'll see on the voltmeter that you'll either get a negative or a positive number that's very small. So if you have an auto ranging voltmeter, it'll, sh it'll automatically range for you. If you have one that like this other Harbor Freight one we have, you may have to try different weight ranges until it shows up with the value so you can see if it's positive or negative. Set it to the DC voltage. Alright guys, so on a 15,000 after you've found the positive side of the coils, and you need to go through every coil because sometimes people will put the wires on the other side so the positive could be on the left or the right side. In this case, on this engine, five of them were positive on the left and the one first number one cylinder was actually positive on the right. So for that, once we find positive on a 15,000 part number, you're going to hook uh, each uh, terminal is labeled, so one, two, four, five, seven, and eight. I believe I got them all. It says it in the install instructions. Those will go to the positive and pins three and six will go to the negative on the corresponding coil where it lays on there. And then the only other thing you do on these installs, we do uh, hook power and ground. We prefer going directly to the alternator like we did on this one. Um, or the ground can go directly to the block or the starter. If you don't have a good clean ground, sometimes that'll cause some issues with the way the module works and could throw an injector code. So we always ask that you get a really good ground. Taking it to the battery is also a good option. On a, on a 30,100 for the Mac or the 15,100 for the later Mercedes, those are opposite. So, uh, and it says in the instructions, pins um, one, two, four, five, seven, and eight hook to the negative side and pins three and six hook to the positive side of the coil. So once you determine positive and negative sides of each coil, then you can hook it up according to the install instructions that you have. All right guys, so now that you got the coils figured out, you know we looked at the installs, you know which way to put the terminals on. Once you get everything tightened down, get a good ground on there, just zip tie up the module wherever you need to put it, somewhere dry out of the way, usually up in this area of the engine compartment up against the firewall is a great spot. Once you do that, you're good to go and plug it in and you should uh, feel the power increase and save some fuel. Thanks guys.